just to refresh the brain a little bit and think of some new ideas. And I came up with nothing original or new, so instead I have more records to show you. Um, three more, and I need to get more because I want more. There's certain things I want. Um, I ordered one a while ago that unless I'm dreaming, I could have sworn I ordered the new Mark Lanigan album, which came out about a week and a half ago, and I haven't gotten it yet, so I don't know if it's just on back order, or if I never click to check out. I'll have to go back and check, but last video, I think it was the last one, we had one of the records, um, uh, that I didn't show off, so we're going to start with that one, we're going to, going to start with that one, so, I think I said this last time, I love their color schemes that they use, they use very bright. Discogs, depending on the seller, they don't include a sleeve, so I always love it when I get a sleeve. Um, I, I ordered this a long time ago, I don't remember who I ordered it from. But let's check out the cover. It's got a mirror image. yellow, green, and orange. It's kind of like a peach, actually. The songs on this record are Modern Times, Darkness, The Disappearing Ones, What You Can't simple pop party uh, style they have. This is called Axe. Really? I thought it was called Modern Times. Nope, it's Axe. It says right there too. It's hard to read. Okay, let's take a look at either side one or side this is uh, one.
see it has the lyrics on this. Which I'm personally not a fan of. I like lyric books. Um, it's just me though. I don't think there's any fun colors for the vinyl today. But one of them is sealed. songs. There's only like three on each side. usually where the like record number is or the signature the quality control signature is because the Pearl Jam one had one too I thought that was really interesting to repeat that process in future videos. Trust me. 
Just says recorded by who? Yeah, it doesn't say where. It was mastered at the lodge in New York City. I think I think that's where they recorded this. It's such a thin record. And it's just a sleeve. It's not like you know, you can't open it up. So I'm not really worried.
it's so good. If you haven't listened to Yellow and Green, the album, do yourself a favor and then go listen to Gray and Gold. Trust me. Or the Purple album. They have this such an interesting overarching art theme throughout their whole career that is so cool to me. Um, yeah, they're great. Uh, is anything etched in this? Oh, come on. Anyone etch something, it's going to be the Foo Fighters. Just numbers on side A. Side B. Wow. It's lame. <laughs> You'd think uh, they would, of all people, put something. Maybe on a record. I actually don't have most of the records on vinyl. This might. No. I have Sonic Highways. And. I have a lot on CD. Yeah, I just have Sonic Highways. gotta eat. <laughs> um, I mean, any Pearl Jam original vinyl is ridiculously expensive. Um, I think even the Gigaton, like, recent vinyl now, resale is not high, but like $10, $15, $20 more than you would get it originally. Um, but I 
like the remixed versions anyway. So we gotta put that back in correctly. I love this about the art for yield. Do the 2016 version there for a sec. I almost freaked out there because that person would have messed up big time. nothing to do anymore so it's not like I'm spending money on going out and stuff which is actually kind of great I've saved so much money during this whole thing on food like hundreds of dollars just from either eating out for work like I used to buy lunch Mondays and Fridays and then snacks in between the week and that added up to like 30 bucks a week um, with everything that on top of going out for lunch on the weekends with friends or going out for drinks that adds up it's pretty crazy um, how much you don't realize how much money you spend on stuff um, the one thing that I don't know about the original vinyl this was the way it was packaged. But anyways, the, this yield goes into that yield, which is pretty cool. I'll show that. Let me put the whole thing together. Does it say anything? No, it doesn't. Oh, this record's been played. Which I don't blame that person. This is probably my favorite Pearl Jam album, I think. Yeah, I would say Yield and Vitality. Which, you boy loves Vitality. up there too. Um, you know, it's so weird. Pearl Jam is such a, besides an incredible and awesome and best band in the universe, um, divisive amongst fans in terms of which albums are the best. There, you would be surprised how many people ten, in, in which 10 is not on their top. I would say it's like half the fan base, which a lot of people don't seem to understand. Just, there's, they made such good music. Um, I mean, even their, their B-Sides collection, Lost Dogs, I mean, that's up there for me too. There's so many good songs on that. I mean, that's where Ledbetter is from, you know, Ledbetter. Sad, Wash, Gone. Never listen to Yield. Yield is the album I think they won their only Grammy on, right? Do the Evolution? Yeah, that was it. No, 
spin the black circle wait a minute I don't remember is that also on this no let's spin the black circle on I can't think um, but uh, the do the evolution music video was just a ramble. I feel like that's what a ramble it is. It's trigger words. It's trigger, trigger, trigger words repeated over and over and over again. Um, so let's show you this hopefully live. Is it going left or right? It looks like it's going just contacted by another one for um, a logo, which I suck at, but I do logos now because I can't say no to people. Um, but if you want to check those bands out, one's called Enox. These are all metal bands, by the way. Um, in New Jersey, they're fantastic. Um, a sequence just came out. Uh, there's a lyric video out there, too. And then Cloud Break is the other out next week so my day job is just designing advertisements and working with printer people it's not as fun anyways this is a lot longer of a video than I thought it would be for three records but I thank you guys again for joining me sorry about the week off um, it's a long weekend, so I might be able to record another video. Though I might, I might just go back to the one a week, maybe not two a week. Or maybe I'll do something short. I don't know if I told you, but I got, I have another keyboard, so I might do a short. It's a mechanical keyboard, a short video on that. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna do that YouTuber thing now. Like, comment, and subscribe. really don't care if you do. I'm just hoping that you found something with this video, either it be relaxed, relaxing, um, or some new music, hopefully. So, thank you guys once again, and I will see you on the next video. Good night.